I'm Fanula Nieloin. I am the newly appointed UN Special Rapporteur for the Protection and the Promotion of Human Rights while Countering Terrorism. One of the priorities that I've set in my mandate is a focus on strengthening and supporting human rights uh, groups and civil society organizations in particular in the context of counter-terrorism. When we take broadly based laws or administrative practices that are intended to stymie civil society, those will inevitably affect victims groups and victims protection. So if we're going to effectively address counter-terrorism and the prevention of terrorism, we have to understand the, the, the absolute foundational role that gender tropes play in the recruitment and the engagement of young men and young women. And from that second logical step is that these groups particularly target women. And in many societies, how do we know that we're seeing the emergence of violent extremism? We know because women are an early warning system in most societies. When you start to see the kind of encroachment on gender, on women's space, they are literally like a canary in a coal mine that is telling us that there's something happening politically that's connected to extremism. A healthy civil society makes for a healthy, functional political system. We know that when we violate human rights, we can create the conditions conducive to the production of more violence. And so at the end of the day, our goal is to eradicate and to end the conditions that produce the violence and thus the violence itself. A couple of things give me hope. And um, the first is that in the last couple of years in particular, there's been a recognition by states that in fact, women are central to addressing terrorism, countering violent extremism, and preventing violent extremism. And um, the second thing I think that's happening is that women themselves, through in particular through the Women, Peace and Security agenda, are increasingly identifying space of terrorism and counter-terrorism as central. And um, I think the other thing that I, I, I suppose gives me hope is women themselves. So at the end of the day, actually part of our hope lies in the daily act of acts of courage that individual women take in their lives in small but yet really significant ways within their families, within their communities, and within their nations to to, to bring their own experiences to the fore and to be active agents of peace and change. And so where, where does it start? It actually starts with being an engaged citizen. It starts with not switching off your TV when you hear the story of a victim of violence and listening to what that person has to say. It's, it means being engaged and active in your own community in a positive, rights-promoting way. And so I actually think each one of us is engaged citizens in our own space there, there isn't a magic bullet solution to any of these problems. But what there is is engagement, not stepping out of the space, but being willing to be in the space and ultimately being willing to listen and to act.